Hi, everybody. Welcome to this webinar from Fundy Designer and Pro DPI. I'm Andrew Funderberg, your host, founder of Fundy Software. And today we're going to be working with one of our favorite partners, Pro DPI. Uh, we have Crystal on the chat with Pro DPI. So if you have any questions about the products uh, from Pro DPI or anything Pro DPI related, Crystal will be able to answer those questions for you. And on our side, we have Priscilla, our head of support, on the chat, so she can answer any questions on the chat as those come through. And of course, I'll be answering questions for you. So I'm really excited to be working with ProDPI because they're one of our closest partners. We have hundreds of partners in Fundy Designer with all of their sizes, uh, but ProDPI is special to us, and we have direct ordering from Fundy Designer directly through ProDPI. So you don't have to exit Fundy Designer. Uh, and hop into rows, you can send directly from Fund Designer to ProDPI uh, to have your order fulfilled. And in Album Builder, that's really awesome. But in Gallery Designer, it saves even more time because it does all the cropping and everything for you. And I am recording this, so you can watch it again later. So let's just kind of jump in. So today, I'll be showing you how to go from Lightroom or whatever you edit in into Fundy Designer and design a beautiful wall gallery just like this. And today we'll be using uh, our good buddy Tyler Workin's imagery uh, to show off gallery designer. And these are wedding photos, but of course you can use gallery designer for portraits, high school seniors, kids, families, etc. And then uh, we'll show you how to send your order directly to Pro DPI and have the wonderful products printed. And you can do this all from Fundy Designer. And Fundy Designer is a suite of tools, but today we'll be mostly uh, focusing on Gallery Designer and ordering direct through Gallery Designer from Fundy Direct. All right, so your basic workflow will, go, will take you from Lightroom or whatever you uh, edit your photos in. You'll export those JPEGs into a folder, and then we'll bring those images into Fundy Designer. Now, once your design is done, if you need to, you can go directly from Fundy Designer to Photoshop or Alien Skin Exposure, On One, any photo editor uh, that accepts, accepts JPEGs. You can even go back into Lightroom if you want to, to do some final retouching. And then once you're done, you can order directly to Pro DPI from Fundy Direct. So it's really excited, a complete system from end to end uh, that I think you guys are gonna love. So let's go ahead and hop into Fundy Designer. Let me close out Keynote here. So as we're going uh, through Fundy Designer, if you have any questions about the types of product offered by Fundy Software, you can head on over to fundydesigner.com. And with Pro DPI, uh, we'll be concentrating on the products currently in Fundy Designer. And uh, we'll be adding more products, wall products later. But currently, what we have are wood prints, gallery wrap canvases, and metal prints. Again, we'll be looking at adding other uh, wall prints later but the wood prints, canvas, and metal prints are what we'll be focusing on today. So first question I have for all of you attending, what uh, types of wall art do you usually sell to your clients? Or if you don't currently then sell them, uh, why are you excited about selling more wall art to your clients? So I'll let those questions filter in and we'll pop back off to that. So again, are you currently selling wall art and what do you like to sell? And then second question, if you're not, why are you excited to sell more wall art? All right, so this is a view of Fundy Designer. Uh, this is Gallery Designer. Um, I've designed a few uh, wall pieces for you here, just so you can take a look at. And uh, in this webinar, I'll show you how we're going to design these and then go ahead and order through Pro DPI. And, uh, and then also I'll show you how you can run sales sessions uh, directly in Fundy Designer. All 
All right, Linda says she likes to sell uh, bamboo prints and canvases. Awesome. And uh, Linda, have you had a chance to check out Pretty PI's new wood prints? Uh, because I love those also. Um, and uh, the photos printed right on the wood versus the bamboo where it's adhered to the wood. Have you had a chance to check those out? All right, let's do a quick overview of Fundy Designer and Gallery Designer. So Fundy Designer, you can save, uh, you can import projects. Uh, each project is basically uh, your client. So for example, uh, here's a bunch of family photos. So this would be, for example, the Johnson family. Here's an engagement shoot. So that's the, you know, so-and-so engagement shoot. Wedding. So basically, you create a project every time you have an event for your clients. And from that project, so here are Tyler Workin's images. From that project, you can design an album. Uh, you can brand your images, which is basically sophisticated watermarking. Uh, you can create blog collages. Or you can go into Gallery Designer, where you can design and sell wall art and then order it directly. So as you see, we can uh, create multiple rooms in here. Uh, we can rename the room if we want. And in Gallery Designer, we have all of the images here for that project. And we also have a bunch of stock rooms. And with the stock rooms, uh, all it takes is just dragging those rooms in to show different looks for a room. And you'll notice the canvases actually change size depending on the room because we've scaled these stock rooms to roughly approximate the actual scale. Additionally, we can bring in your own client rooms. I'll show you how to do that in a second. We have a slideshow. We have a bunch of free songs from Triple Scoop Music. You can import your own audio files. And then you have a bunch of options for this slideshow. Now, this is a slideshow to show in person with your clients. It does not export and upload to the web or anything. This is for in-person sales. You can play the slideshow. So that's the slideshow. And then obviously after we design, we can export for print. We can export to proof these with our clients. We can export for the web so we can upload them to Facebook or something. And then we can click, click the direct order button to ProDPI and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. So let's dive right in and let's show a little bit of the design and how to bring in rooms. And then we'll take a look at how to run a sales session with Gallery Designer. All right, I'm going to pop in, see if there's any questions going on here. All right, feel free to ask questions as we go. It's really exciting to see how this works. It works like nothing else out there on the market. So let's go ahead and open up a room, and I'll kind of show you uh, how it works. So here we have all of our images. If you would like, you can toggle on the actual sizes. You'll notice that uh, we have a 40 by 30 metal print. We export a quarter inch larger than the actual print size because that's what ProDPI has requested for their printing. Uh, so you'll see that on the metal prints and the wood prints. So I can select all of these images and we have ProDPI sizes in here. So it just jumps to the sizes available as I resize. You can design manually, you can say, oh, okay, actually, you know what, I want this, I want a 24 by 30 right there. And let's grab a couple of these. And it basically lets you design manually without having to do any work. I'm gonna touch these images next to this metal print and let go. And it automatically figures out that 11 by 14s are the best size to line up over here. And if I want to put one print next to it, I can just plop that right there. 
move this over. If you'd like to, we can take this print over here, and we can drag, grab all of these, and we can go smaller or larger. however you want to. So lots of fun with manual design, but if you don't want to manual design, you can just go into our quick design picker here, and we have all of these designs available. We can shuffle through these designs. All of these choices. So for example, I love this design for this grouping, and we're done. So that's fundamentally how the design works. It's a really fun combo of manual and uh, automatic design. Now let's hop into the rooms because we can bring in your own client rooms. So if you ask your client to send you an image of their wall, it could be an iPhone photo, anything, just ask them to measure something that is in that room uh, up against the wall. So here's my living room. I brought that in. So very easy to do. Click on the Add Custom Room right here. Choose the photo. And then this black line appears and basically just measure anything that's in the room. So for example, here is a TV. Uh, I know that's 42 inches in diameter. Go to the next step and then ask where you want to design on in that room and click finish. And now I have my own living room in here. I can bring that in. And then these canvases appear to size. So this is a 42 inch TV. So this is the size of that canvas on the wall uh, next to the TV. Makes it really easy for your clients to decide on sizes. They can say, hey, you know, that's a little small. Let's go bigger. And you can even dial in, once you've dialed in a custom design, I can even hit the pin icon. And then when I go to the layouts, I can go to my designs. And here's that design that I just designed. So I can save that out as my own collage and reuse that with other clients. All right, any questions so far on adding a custom room or designing things yourself? All right, great question. Do you need to be online? No, this is great because uh, you know you don't, might not be online all the time. This is a desktop program, so uh, once you install it on your computer, it's just like Lightroom. You just launch it anytime. You do not need an internet connection to be designing. Um, if you want to order through ProDPI directly after you finish the sales session with your client, obviously you need to connect to the internet to order the software, but other than the ordering process, you don't need to be connected to the internet at all. And then Michelle uh, asks if this is a software for purchase. Yes, this is a software for purchase. If you head over to fundydesigner.com, you can go to our store uh, and see that. We'll be sending out a coupon code uh, for everybody that attends the webinar. So you can take a look at that. So that's the basic design process. Anybody have any questions on designing or bringing in your own rooms? I'll come back to that question, but let's go ahead. I'll show you, I know a lot of people like to design um, multiple image collages. So for example, let's say you have one canvas print, but you want multiple images on it. You can drag any image onto here, and it's just going to replicate that room. I'm going to go ahead and change this room out to a living room. And I'm going to size the canvas I want. Currently, we have metal prints chosen. I'm going to go up here and choose gallery wrap. So I want to go a little bit bigger. Let's choose this 48 by 20. So here we have one image in a wrap. We can also change that to a color wrap if you want. I'm going to put a, a black edge. And this one canvas, I can double click on that, open this up into a whole new canvas, and you see we have our drop zones. If you're familiar with Fundy Designer and the drop zones, this drop zone works just like Album Builder. 
So I can go in and take two more images and drop them in. And if you'd like to, you can move an image around. Let's swap that image to this image here. Change all of these to vertical images. You can even put it some spacing. On the drop zone up in the pencil, you can add some spacing. And so we have black edges and black spacing between these images. And now when we go back into the room, you can see all three of these images that would be printed on one canvas and put on the wall. So we can do multiple canvases, or we can take multiple images and put them on one canvas, metal, or wood print. All right, so uh, now that we've designed this, let's go ahead and show you the ordering process and the export process, and then we'll jump back in and I'll take you through the process to actually conduct a, a sales session with your client uh, because we can do really cool things like go into an actual size view. So what this is, if you are projecting or you have a very large TV, you can show the images at actual size. And to do that, just click on the actual size button and you'll see the actual size. And when you click on calibrate, you'll see this orange line. If that will just be projected on the wall or your projection screen, just measure that orange line and put in how many inches or centimeters that is. And then you will see the actual size of that canvas. Now, if you like to do sales sessions in your client's home, you go to amazon.com buy a $500 projector and you can project that right on your client's wall so they can actually see the actual images on their wall and decide what size they want to be printed at. And it makes a great uh, sales tool. So after we've done some design, we can hit export. We can export for the proofer and we can export for web. Let's just show you an export for web. When this comes up, you can choose which uh, images and walls you want to export for the web. Hit next, choose your location, and it's gonna start exporting for you. And when we export for web, we export actual the room view for your clients. And not only is this great for your clients to send them mock-ups, uh, but it's also great for social media and your blog because you can show uh, everybody what types of things you want to sell. So after that's exported, you can come up here, right? Here are the exported JPEGs uh, that I can use for proofing, marketing. Let's see, I also exported uh, this one here with my living room. So uh, great sales tool. If you've already shot some uh, events or portraits that you didn't sell wall art, you can do mock-ups of your clients uh, on these walls and you can send them to them via email or, or uh, whatever you'd like to and do maybe a pre-sale and say, hey, I mocked these up for you. How do you feel about getting some wall art uh, on your walls from your shoot? And we can also export for print and I'll show you how to do that uh, a little bit. But basically, when we export for print, open this up, I'm going to turn visible sizes off, right? So we have these images that we're ready to export for print. Now, one of the things that we built into Gallery Designer is very intelligent upsizing and downsizing. So if you have an image and you're printing a huge canvas, you don't have to worry about doing any extra upsizing in a different program. Fundy Designer will upsize and downsize that canvas for you uh, before it's sent off to print. So I'm gonna go ahead and export for print. Let's only do this one wall. Let's do this middle wall because it has just three images. And make a new folder. So this is for exporting for print. Uh, but if you order through ProDPI, you don't even need to do this. We just click the order button and we'll go ahead and go through an order. And I'll show you how to do that 
and then we'll get into the sales process. While that's doing that, any, any questions here? Oh, Michelle has a great question. So uh, she asks, is, is this self-taught or do we have instructional videos? If you head on over to fundydesigner.com and you click on support, you'll see links to both our video tutorials and then also our manuals. So for uh, Gallery Designer, we have two tutorial series. One is kind of the nuts and bolts on how to use the program. And the other video tutorial is on how to use the program with your clients in a sales session. So both kind of the nuts and bolts on how to use the program, but also how you would use the program in front of your clients, with your clients during a sales session. So this is exporting here. Let's go ahead and pull these up. So uh, we've exported these for print. You see we have wall one, piece one. So it tells us which wall they're from. It also tells us which piece they're from. And then we can see 24 by 36, which is what it'll be printed at. This is great if you want to do some test output, uh, make sure the prints look great uh, before you send them off. And here's the last one. Now ordering is just as easy as exporting. You just hit the order button and you'll come up, choose which rooms you want to order. I've already pre-prepped these because uh, the upload process does take a little bit. But once you've started the upload, uh, you can go design more. So I've uh, pre-uploaded these three rooms. And one of the difficult thing about ordering lots of wall art is the whole process of cropping, exporting, and then going into a different ordering software. But with Gallery Designer, after I hit order and the exports process goes through internally, I just click complete order and it's going to bring us into our Fundy Designer direct cart. So here we have wall one with all of the images. We can choose what type of backing uh, we want and what type of finish. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the foam backing for all of these and the white gloss finish for all of them. And up here we have all of our rooms, so I'm gonna to go to the next room. Here's the next room. Uh, let's go foam backing on these also, and uh, sheer gloss on these. Here's the third room. Put in the shipping. Choose your shipping type. You can uh, do drop ship ground or you can do second day air. And then we go into the checkout. And that's where we check out, put in your credit card, enter the credit card, and you're done. So that's how you check out. Let's go ahead and jump in to a sales process. Anybody have any questions on the checkout? Super, super easy. A uh, couple of clicks, very little work. We do all the cropping, uploading. All you have to do is choose your backing and you're done. So to use Gallery Designer in a sales session, one of the first things you'll want to do is click on this room calculator and you'll want to have pricing for everything. And you can enter that pricing right here and this is your retail pricing, not the cost from ProDPI. You can enter your retail pricing here, and then we will add up the rooms for you. Now, you only have to do this once, and once you're finished, under the edit, you can export your user data, and that will back up all of that pricing, and you can import it on different computers. So you only have to do it once, and then you can keep everything backed up. I've done that myself. I'm going to go ahead and import my user data. And then this has all of the prices that I've set up previously on another computer. I imported those prices. And so here it gives me a total for this room. So I can say 36 by 24 is this much, 20 by 24 is this much, and it gives me that total so that when the client commits to ordering this room, I can easily pull up that total for them. 
So you want to go ahead and set up your pricing uh, before you do a sales session with your client and then also go ahead and create that project. So the first thing that I like to do uh, with the clients when they come in is run a slideshow. So I have the images all loaded, choose my song, choose the type of slideshow I want to run. You can change the display time, which images it shows, background color, etc. And you can save that, and then you can play that slideshow for your client when they come in. The next thing I like to do with the client is go ahead and open up, and we'll go through the process of the client choosing their favorites. So you can see these little heart icons down here. You can click on the heart, unclick on the heart, click here. And every time you tag something with a heart, it stays there. Now, to make this easier for you when you're working with your clients, we've connected all of these ratings uh, favorites to your keyboard. So the right arrow on your keyboard goes right, the left arrow goes left. And then when you're going through your with your client, if she's... Uh, if he or she says they want that images in print, just hit the up arrow and it'll tag that as a favorite. If you have one that's a favorite and you want to untag it, just hit the down arrow and it will untag that image and move to the next. So very simple process, just go through with your client. If they say yes, hit the up arrow. If they say no, hit the down arrow and you can go through all of the images. So here we have a yes, yes, No, yes, all right, so very simple process. And then once the client has chosen their favorites, in our image well here, we can hit the little heart icon and see only the favorites. If you hit it again, you'll see only the non-favorites. So if you, if, the, if you feel like the client hasn't chosen enough, you can toggle the non-favorites and then jump back into the image viewer and only see those non-favorites. Or if they've chosen too many favorites, you can show just the favorites and you can go back through and you can say, hey, let's remove some of these because we have a little bit too many to be used for wall art. All right, any questions on that? So the next thing we'll want to do after they've chosen their favorites is go ahead and design, right? The easiest way to do that is start grabbing uh, favorites that go together, throw them on an image. And once that image, uh, once those images are on the page, then you can go in with the client and you can choose from the standard layouts And you can adjust, and you can adjust in this little room view, or it can pop into the big room view. And then once they have chosen the rooms that they like, simply use these green check marks to remind yourself which rooms to order after they leave. And then you'll want to go ahead and total up the order. We have a great order form. I know that uh, Pretty PI works very closely with Designaglow, and Designaglow has uh, graciously designed a very simple order form for you and your clients. You can also click through and you can order their customizable one where you can put your logo and everything on it. But basically, uh, just write in the number uh, of prints they want, the image number, the mount, etc., and the price. So simply with this wall, just click the quick room calculator. Here is your file number, 255, 256. Here are your prices, and there's your total. So just transfer that to the order form. Add any loose prints they might want, uh, or an album, basically anything they want, and there's your simple invoice. So we're really working hard at just making the process of doing in-person sales really, really simple for your client and for you.
All right, so I have a question come through on how easy is it to make uh, custom designs for your client or with your client. So let's go ahead and add a room and I'll show you how to do just that. So uh, very, very easy to make custom designs. So I'm gonna bring that in there. Let's say you wanted a square. Let's go ahead and turn on the visible sizes so we can see the sizes. All right, so here we have a 24 by 24. We'll put these images here. So uh, very easy to do a custom design by just dragging images next to them. But we can even get more dynamic with your clients while they're sitting there in the room. What if the clients come and say they really want this image right here to be placed in between these two images? We can just drag that right there, drop it in, and it's going to find the sizes that match this the spacing between these images. Now, if the client thinks these are too small, we can just increase the height or the width of this big image here. We can even play around with the height and the width there. So we can get really creative with the sizing and the spacing between these images and you can always re-grab these images and place them next to this image and it will auto calculate the best size and spacing to match that main image. And we can also swap images of course if we want to see which image looks best as the main image and next to these uh, supporting images. All right, so uh, wrapping up. So with Gallery Designer, you can bring your images in, set your retail pricing. We can run a slideshow with your clients. It includes uh, $600 of free music from Triple Scoop Music uh, with your slideshow. Uh, we can go through and help the client choose their favorites. We can design on professional stock rooms and again, Every room that you see here, except for my living room, is included free with the program. So all of these stock rooms are included free with the program. You can use them as much as you want. You can export, upload to the web, etc. Or you can bring in your own custom rooms, and that can be a client room. Or you could even buy your own stock rooms if you wanted to buy something off of iStock Photo or something you've shot yourself to bring in to use different stock images. You can use those anytime you want. You can export for the web to show off for your clients, email them on spec to see if they want to uh, buy some wall art. Maybe they've uh, their session was a couple months ago and they didn't purchase anything and you want to restart that sales process again. You can uh, project at actual size for your client uh, using a projector. We can also uh, change images to black and white. We have some sophisticated black and white and sepia conversions right in the software so you don't have to jump out of photo, out into Photoshop or anything like that. And then once the order has finished, we can click order and send that order direct to ProTPI without any uh, export cropping, etc. Really, really easy to order. And I'm going to leave you with one last thing. If you head on over to our blog and you search for skin softening, we have an awesome free skin softening action that works in Photoshop. And it's very easy to use. With any image, you can click on any image and choose edit an external editor. And that external editor can be Photoshop. Uh, it can be Alien Skin. It can be any program you want it to be. And you can pop that image open, and we have, with this free action, very sophisticated skin softening. You run it, just paint where you want that skin softening to be, and then click the flatten and save, and you're done. And it will auto-update in Fundy Designer for you. So the skin softening I did 
auto updated in Fundy Designer. I don't have to do anything and I can send that final print uh, to ProDPI directly from Fundy Designer. All right, any last questions before we get off? Uh, Kelly has a great uh, question. Will we be releasing a version of the software that allow, allows you to design galleries using frame prints? Yes, that's on. That's slated for next year, uh, bringing in frame prints and uh, so you can design on those prints uh, and send those out uh, to your clients. So that's definitely on the books and that will be a free update to everybody that owns the program. So you don't have to worry about uh, updating your software to a new version or paying for an update to get that new uh, framing option. Oh, Sandra has a great question about the free trial. You can download the free trial and there is no timing on the free trial. The free trial works forever, uh, but the only catch is you can't export from the free trial. And then for the slideshow and the image view, uh, there's a free trial, uh, trial version watermark over uh, the, uh, the canvas uh, just for protection, but you can use the program completely as long as you want and then when you're ready to buy, you can buy. Uh, Michelle has a great question, where to get the skin softening action? Let's go ahead and jump over to our website and I'll show you that. So on our website, you'll see the download free trial button. So that will take you, you can download the free trial uh, for our software. And then also if you head over to the blog, and over here on the left is our search icon, search for skin softening. And it's actually this second one right here, easy retouching with bonus free action. Click on that and it shows you how to use it with Fundy Designer. And then we have a little video tutorial on how to use it and also you can download the free action right here. So let me go ahead and give you the direct link in the question section here. All right, so in the question section, I sent the direct link to everybody. Beth asked if it uh, syncs with Studio Cloud or 17 Hats. That's a great question. And we're actually just starting the process of connecting with, um, uh, with other studio management software so that when you take an order, uh, that order will be uh, replicated and sent out to the studio software. Linda says, thanks for the great work. Uh, Michelle, again, the skin softening sent that through, so I hope you all got that. Again, if you just head to FundyDesigner.com and search our blog for skin softening, that'll come up for you. Uh, free action, uh, works great in Photoshop, and uh, I think you'll have a lot of fun with that. All right, any final questions before we sign off? Again, this is being recorded. We'll upload this to our YouTube channel, and we'll get this out to everybody at ProDPI. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks so much, everybody. You guys have a great weekend, and we will uh, talk to you later.